concepts of data structure uh, in our previous videos we have discussed about that what is data structure what basically data structure is uh, how we deal with different kinds of data structures uh, in how many types it is divided and in this video we will learn something related to the basic concepts like uh, dynamic memory allocation the use of uh, different kind of uh, uh, dynamic let us so these are the contents the first topic will be the dynamic memory allocation then we have structures in C then singly linked list doubly linked list circular linked list linked list implementation of a stack linked list implementation of queue applications of linked list in my further videos I'll upload, uh, upload the details related to the um, structures in C singly linked list doubly linked list circular linked list and other topics in this video I am uploading only the details about uh, dynamic memory allocation so now let us discuss it one by one now first of all discuss that what were the problem uh, that were with arrays when we are uh, talking about uh, arrays then we a thing come in mind that array has a fixed size okay so if an array has a fixed size then it means that at the time of declaration we have to provide its size uh, like sometimes uh, the amount of data cannot be predicted then what we will do in such cases if the amount of data cannot be predicted then it is difficult for us to decide how what uh, will be the amount of data to be created or uh, if we predict that uh, the number of items should be 100 uh, but uh, uh, at the time of uh, uh, running the application there may be a need of 110 data so at that time can we increase the number can we increase the amount of data at the runtime can we decrease the amount of data at the runtime no we cannot so if we cannot increase or decrease the amount of data at the runtime then it is a problem it, it means that either we are less in our memory capacity or uh, we, we have uh, wastage of memories now let us understand this concept with the help of an example suppose that you are going to develop a kind of software and that software uh, is using an array so for a group of 100 person you are determining you are just uh, thinking that only 100 person are going to use that software or only 100 entries will be allowed in that software and suddenly the uh, 101th entry will come then what you will do in that case Sim simply that your software will fail at that place so to keep the track of the task we have some another approach and that approach is known as po uh, pointer or we can say that we can have dynamic arrays now what is the meaning of dynamic array dynamic array means a kind of array which is memory size can be increased or decreased at the runtime then is it applicable to use the term array with that no we should use the uh, the name dynamic memory allocation when we are using the concept of dynamic memory assigning now what is the solution if we find the maximum possible value of n and allocate an array of n element wasteful of memory space as n may be much smaller in some executions the example maximum value of n may be 10,000 but a particular run may need a search only among 100 elements so we are wasting 10,000 so in such cases we need dynamic memory allocation as we have uh, as I have already uh, discussed now better solution dynamic memory allocation what is the meaning of the term dynamic the term dynamic means something is happening at the runtime. If we are uh, working on certain kind of data and we are changing the memory of data at the runtime, it means we are dynamically changing the data. Dynamic means runtime. Suppose that you are going to a shopping, uh, we are, you are going for a shopping. Uh, you have a particular list of ten items, and suddenly your uh, mother calls you, and you have. Uh, the next item added in your list 
so your mother dynamically called you at the time of shop shopping so it is uh, you can say that it is a, um, it is an example of dynamic memory allocation so uh, dynamic memory allocation refers to the uh, amount of memory needed after the program is running if the program is in run and we are increasing the uh, memory space as per our need then it means we are using the concept of dynamic memory allocation we dynamically allocate only the amount of memory needed suppose that uh, i am designing a software and in that software i am using uh, uh, 10 items at first and then again i needed i need 11th item i need 12th item then depending upon the need i can increase or decrease the size so how can we achieve dynamic memory allocation in uh, computer science and c language in c we can achieve dynamic memory allocation with the help of malloc calloc and realloc what is malloc calloc and realloc these three are functions related to the dynamic memory allocation these functions allocate the memory dynamically inside the system as soon as you call a function the memory gets automatic automatically allocated now let us see these methods or functions in details the first function malloc it allocates the requested number of bytes and returns a pointer to the first byte of the allocated space so it is simply a kind of mechanism which is used to assign the memory by as soon as you call the function the pointer allocates the memory as soon as you call it uh, it request uh, uh, it allocates the requested number of bytes and returns a pointer to the first byte of the allocated space what is the meaning of returning the pointer to the first byte of the allocated space it means that if you need 10 bytes then it will simply create 0 to 9 bytes and then return to byte uh, return to index number 0 so that you can start your insertion from the first place Similarly, calloc is the another function which we use to insert data inside the memory. It allocates a space for array of elements, initializes them to zero and then returns a pointer to the memory. Now it allocates a space for an array of elements. It means it will allocate, in case of malloc, it allocates a space for requested number of bytes. But in this case, in case of calloc, in case of uh, second function C A L L O C, we are simply assigning the memory using the array of elements. It means similar kind of elements. Now, free. Free is a kind of uh, function which is used to release the memory. If you want to release the memory from the computer space during the runtime of the program, you can use the free function. Now, realloc. Sometimes uh, during the program, we need to modify the uh, memory assigned by malloc or calloc then what we will do we will just call the function realloc and in this session we are going to discuss only about malloc and free now let us see it in detail allocating allocating a block of memory a block of memory can be allocated using a function malloc it reserves a block of memory of a specified size and returns a pointer of type void what is void here void is a return type and uh, as we all know that uh, from our first class from our first c class we are using uh, main function and we use uh, with main we use either int or void why we use void because we want nothing in return from our function now what is the general format for the malloc function how we create the pointer for that we simply uh, type the data type and then uh, the pointer variable now what is pointer pointer is a, a special variable used to store the address of another variable it acts as a variable but its uh, task is to store the reference or address of the another variable now the structure or how we can use the uh, function malloc to use the function malloc we simply write p equals to 
uh, then uh, we write the type if we are using integer then we type integer here int here then malloc then byte size and this will simply allocate the memory in the uh, uh, computer system now this is the example if the value of p is to be assigned using malloc function and as in the previous slide we have already uh, we have already seen that uh, what is p here p is simply a pointer created for uh, the use of malloc function and p is equals to int malloc and then we are assigning the byte size here we are using 100 byte size a memory space equivalent to 100 times the size of an integer byte is reserved here. The address of the first byte of the allocated memory is assigned to the uh, pointer P of the type integer. So this is the small uh, representation of how we are assigning. Suppose that uh, for a single byte, uh, we are, uh, for an integer we are using 4 bytes then for that uh, we can have uh, for 100 uh, bytes we uh, for 100 memory space we, we will have a 400 bytes of the space being used now you can see that here we are creating character pointer we are creating 20 pointer similarly we are creating a structure so every time we are using the malloc function we have to use the size of operator now uh, some of the important points that we should note malloc always allocates a block of contiguous uh, bytes the allocation can fail if the sufficient contiguous memory space is not available if it fails malloc returns null so this is the block of code how we can check memory is allocated or not allocated and uh, how we can use the malloc array i'll discuss this in my next video so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel remuni education i am srikan singh and uh, uh, if you have any query then post it in the comment thank you